It's time for another video. High five. Yeah. It's time for another Bullwalker workout. In today's workout, we're gonna train our back. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of my back. Anyway, usually when I start these videos, I tell you to do things beforehand and I give you tips. But today, all I'm gonna tell you to do is take off your shoes. So as I recommend you to do with most of my workouts, we're just going to start off with this exercise. Grab these two cables here, pull them outwards. But this time, what you're going to do is, you're going to change the angle in such a way that most of the pressure is put on your back. As you can see, I'm putting a lot of pressure on my back, with making this motion. That's where most of the pressure should be. So, as we usually do, I'm just going to do 15 repetitions of this, and then we're going to hold it. Pull it out with as far as you can. Keep all your pressure, most of the pressure, on your back. Alright, you just hold it for 15 seconds, and let go. And you're going to do 3 sets of those. Three to five sets. It depends on what you want. The back is a big muscle, so usually I would say that your back can take a little bit more. So straight, so straight on to the next exercise. We're not gonna take too much rest. Same exercise, but this time you're gonna keep your bulwalker like this, and you're gonna put the pressure on your traps. It's the same deal, really. Just 15 repetitions. Side how quick or how slow you want to do them. I've not been counting the repetitions. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and just keep it like this. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Again, three to five sets. Well, your traps are a little bit, I don't know, my traps are a little bit sensitive. If I, if I train them too much, I get headaches. So, like, maybe it's better to do three sets for your traps, especially if you are not used to training your traps a lot. So next up, we're gonna do the lats. So, like usual, get a seat for this one. So, put your bulwarker on the ground, make sure it's stable, grab the cables, just pull downwards. Put the pressure on your lats. Fifteen repetitions. Second time that I'm not counting the repetitions. Fuck. And just hold it. If you have a very slippery grip like I have at this moment, you can do this. You can put your hands on top and do the same deal. However, You're gonna switch which hand is on top, which each set. I don't know, I feel that the hand that is on top is uh, as to uh, use a little less pressure than the one under it, for some reason, I don't know. So again, just hold it. And do three to five sets of those. So for this exercise, you're gonna need to have strong grip in your toes. So, just put your finger, uh, <laughs> you know, your fingers, your toes, your toes under your bulwarker like this, and one of the cables, as you can see. You're basically going to do some deadlifts with your bulwarker. So very simple. 
keep your back straight and pull upwards. Uh, the nice thing about this, instead of doing deadlifts, is that you don't really have to worry about your knees. You can't really damage your knees by doing this exercise. So again, 15 repetitions. This is the third time that I'm actually not counting the reps. And after that, you're just gonna hold it. And since your back is supposed to be pretty strong, just go ahead and do another set. If you feel like it. If you are a beginner then only do one set and you know take rest for a minute or 30 seconds and you know do another set after that. But if you are advanced just do a few reps or do, just do a few sets in a row. As you can see I'm not really doing the as you can see, usually you hold your back like this when you're deadlifting. Which you can also do. But it's not really going to damage your back if you're gonna do it like this. Again, doing this exercise with the ball work is just completely different than doing it with a barbell. It does not put the same amount of uh, pressure on your spine as with pulling a very heavy weight off the ground. So it's safer to do that. And it actually puts a lot of strain on those muscles, even compared with, uh, with normal deadlifting. So it's a very good exercise for the back, actually. So last exercise, same position, the deadlift position. And this time you're gonna pull your arms upwards. Instead of using your back, you're gonna use your arms. And you will feel that that will put some pressure on your arms. But most of the pressure will be put on the inside of your back. And just hold it. And do three. To five sets of those and that's the workout your back should be sore from that and look like this well not quite like that but you know you're working towards that anyway that's the video bye <laughs>